to her. Go. They can't stop us. He did it. So hey guys, I want to show you one of my favorite back exercises with the resistance tubes. I'm going to show you uh, my back angle so you can see exactly what I'm doing. Uh, kind of a particular, very specific exercise. But the reason it's one of my favorites is because of the help that it does to my posture. And uh, a lot of us that sit down, hunched over at all, if we're in, like you know driving a lot or if we're in front of a desk, we have issues because of what this mo movement heals. And so. I want to share this with you guys because it's easy to do. If you have resistance tubes, you can do it. Uh, eventually, I'll show you guys a way that you can do it with other uh, equipment, uh, not even exercise equipment, small towels, uh, you know, just clothing and stuff. It's silly, but uh, it's things that you can do while you're at home. And so here's a quick demonstration about how you can do, uh, it's called a face pull, a face pull back exercise, and I'll show you guys here in a second. Now, what this exercise does is it strengthens your rhomboids, it activates a lot of the muscles in your upper and even in your upper middle back that are typically inactive or out of balance when you're in an idle center. I'll put some. I'll put a photo up here on the on the show to get them, Leo. Yeah. To share their cute faces and maybe some. Maybe we'll do some funny blooper videos. They're but they're literally changing um, how we're doing our day to day life, which is it's pretty fun. Um. Marissa is a, a vet for many of you that uh, may not know. So uh, apparently, in the animal community, you name your animal with three full names, right? Sure, I made that up. Okay, maybe she just made it. Up. <laughs> that's that's awesome. Anyway. Meows yeah. a lot. He meowed a lot mm -hmm. constantly that week that we named him that podcast. And we really wanted to bring those folks to you guys. And then after that, we had planned to come back and do a lot more with us. And it, it just kind of hit us all at once. I think with the stress of, you know, everything that was going on in our lives, um, we, we were really burned out. And so to be very transparent, we decided to take some time off of the podcast, off of our Instagram off of all of our platforms and just kind of 
you know, regroup and figure out what it is that we really want to do with our platform and the kind of value that we really want to bring you guys. And, and it was really great because it allowed us to kind of focus, um, refocus, and then kind of brought us to where we are now. It's, it's kind of like uh, what, what a lot of people refer to as the like the nine to five being on a hamster wheel and just mm -hmm. running and running and running. You can do that in any uh any element, any any area, industry, you name it. And so we we kind of fell into that trap where I think that maybe we were just trying to do too much all at once. Mm -hmm. And so uh, we're, you know, let's just be candid and transparent. We're, we're having a human moment with you guys. We, I think that burnout was part of it. We denied it at first and we, we didn't want to share it out loud, but um, you know, we, we wanted to call it like it is. And we weren't burned out because we were unhappy or anything was going wrong. It's just that uh, we, we felt like we were trying to do too many things that other people expected us to do or wanted us to do. Mm -hmm. And uh, all the while we've challenged ourselves anytime we sit down and we have kind of business meetings where it's, it's a funny concept, but we do have official business meetings because we, we want this platform to become something much bigger than us someday when it, when it does naturally. But we challenge ourselves to always stay true to what we uh, the reasons why we started this platform in the first place, which are it, ultimately, without diving into our full-on vision and mission statement, because this episode is not designed for that, ultimately, it stems from our, our passion for sharing fitness and adventure with other people. We, even from the beginning, we decided if we never make a dime with this platform, it's something that we'll probably still always do because we still want to send out this message to people mm -hmm. that will listen. And so we we've been uh, we we've, we've done a whole lot of nothing pertaining to like traveling to extravagant places or doing you know the, some of the incredible ideas we talked about like having fitness retreats and stuff like that. You know we we've all been in this this stay at home environment for quite a while. But what we did do is spend a lot of time working on ourselves and challenging ourselves and having difficult conversations about what was next. Mm -hmm. We felt like um, if we if we dive into and add some context to all that burnout, and maybe you guys relate to this, which is kind of why I'm going, going down this road. It, it wasn't, it, it felt like burnout at first, but that's only because we couldn't define what was going on. And mm -hmm. when we, we took some time, and it did take days, weeks maybe, to figure out what we were really experiencing. It wasn't burnout, it was um, it was like we had reached our, our ceiling in the area that we were uh, pursuing mm -hmm. and we, we needed a different challenge. Mm -hmm. We wanted to yeah. sit here and like feel sorry for us. Mm -hmm. It was a very constructive time mm -hmm. for us and what we came back with is, you know, we wanted to start season two mm -hmm. of what we're doing and we plan for many seasons in the future where we kind of uh, restart and re, uh, refocus on what it is we we truly want to do mm -hmm. and uh, I'm, I'll pass it off to Marissa to talk to you about the so the biggest change and the biggest thing that we're really excited about obviously we're going to continue talking about fitness and health because the fit travel show and fit travelers is something that we feel very strongly about uh, fitness and health and wellness and all of those things together kind of making you primed for a state of really really achieving your full um, potential in your life and then the travel portion um, we love adventure we love experiencing new things we love uh, that we are inspiring other people to really push themselves out of their comfort zone and go uh, where somewhere where they, where they didn't think that they would be able to but we decided and we're really excited about um, the fact that we have not embraced the two part of our two fit travelers um, and we really, really think that the elements of fitness and travel bring together a couple. And so we really wanted to bring the relationship aspect into our uh, fit travel show. And this is by no means saying that now we're going to be sappy love stories all the time. It's just saying that we really you know, have a great perspective of how it's affected us in our relationship. And we wanted to bring that to you guys and kind of share from our perspective. Yeah. Now, this Most efficient ways at growing yourself, mm -hmm. getting out of your comfort zone, learning new things, um, you know, developing yourself, becoming a better person, literally like you're, you have better physical performance, you're, you have better mental acuity and, you know, you're in a better state of mind and you're, you know, you're, uh, a more favorable person to be around. I'm not saying you're a bad person to be around now, but 
Like you literally and figuratively just become a better being. Relationships, mm -hmm. that third component, uh, I would argue is even more effective and can be even more efficient and even more challenging and even more rewarding than those two elements. Mm -hmm. Just killing it with the English today. Mm -hmm. And like Marissa said, it doesn't mean that if you're single, quit listening. No, no, no. Listen, because whether or not you plan on being in a relationship, you likely will be in a relationship eventually, but we're not just talking about dating or, or being married. We're also talking about any relationship that you interact with, even if it's at work, um, if it's just with you know friends, family. Having a relationship with somebody is a great way to uh, you know, see a reflection of who you are, to be challenged, to challenge other people um, in line with those other two components with wellness and with adventure. Mm -hmm. And so all of that, we share all of that to, to say that we're so excited about this next chapter, this season two, if you will, where we're going to bring a relationship component to what we do. And in fact, our next episode is uh, with Mark and Jocelyn Walters. Mm -hmm. So they are Walters World all over YouTube and, and, and um, in the travel community. They've been doing this for a long, 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 long time. Yes, I'm just so excited that I get to have you forever. Thanks for listening to another episode of the Fit Travel Show, where relationship, wellness, and adventure collide. If you liked it, help us spread the word to those who might benefit from some words of encouragement. Until next time, stay adventurous and be well.